Vamputer sentences them to death <laughs> by Snoo Snoo! Yeah! yeah. <laughs> what are you, gay? What is going on everyone? This is your host, Pyrope Odium, and today we will be going over Jean's appearance, personality, semblance, and his weapon. So just sit back, relax, and enjoy the analysis. Milady. His outfit is so basic that I'd almost forgive Ruby for making fun of his sweater. Just kidding, I won't, cause as much as I love Ruby, she laughed at his sweater during his grieving period and just basically laughed at what represented Pyrrha. But you know what, I won't get too deep into it. Anyways, uh, like out of all the outfits like Jean would have picked, wouldn't you think that he'd at least try to look as good as all the characters? I mean, assuming that he's not broke or anything, but can't he like, you know, get colorful clothing or sharp looking clothing like Ozpin or something unique like Ren's? I mean, he had the chance to look nice, but he didn't take it. Therefore, I'll give him a 5 out of 10. Well, his armor makes him look a bit better, so I'll make it a 6. But, I have to consider the red sash in honor of Pyrrha, so in any case, a seven would do. That's my final verdict. Too tough for me? That's downright ridiculous. I'll have you know, I stubbed my toe last week while watering my spice garden, and I only cried for 20 minutes. Listen, kid, I think you'd be more comfortable over at that place. Weenie Hut Juniors? Are you saying I belong at Weenie Hut Juniors? Uh, oh, no, sorry. I was actually pointing to the place next to it. Super Weenie Hut Juniors? Yes. Unless you think you're tough enough to fight me. For a six foot plus dude, he sure acts like a puss. Look, I'm sorry, but bro, I couldn't deal with this little bee for two volumes. Like, you're six foot and you're the leader of Team Juniper. Stand up for yourself, man. Jeez. You're acting like Pyrrha's plaything for Christ's sake. You're making her look like she has oh the Amazonian my. meat stick. And don't even get me started with his love life. Like, you're telling me that he's into a, a little itty-bitty, Carino ah! attitude-having woman over Pyrrha? Who is way better looking than Weiss by a long shot, and has everything a man ever wanted, and has arguably one of the best semblances and weapons. Man, that's just messed up, Jean, and I got my eye on you. Things don't add up. Okay, I just had to get that out of my chest for a sec. But on a real note, Jean really grew as a person, and honestly, but unfortunately, Pyrrha's death was the only way for him to grow, and goddamn he sure did. He went from being a little beta cook to a more confident Chad, and just overall, not being garbage anymore. So overall, I'ma give this an 8 out of 10. We gotta see him in action for a much higher score. Think about it for a second here. His semblance is basically steroids. It amplifies other people's aura and their semblances. He's not a medic because all he's doing is amplifying the healing time of other people's aura. And if he was, he'd be a terrible medic. I mean, he stabbed Penny in the guts. At least in Saving Private Ryan, they were at least trying to put the guts back in. And like, you know what sucks? His semblance only works when he's physically touching someone. It's not like Mercy from Overwatch, where she can heal from a distance and all that. Like, the only thing that's cool about it is the whole amplifying other people's semblances thing. Like, he can get anyone's semblance and multiply that to actual Ruby combat competency. Like, imagine if Jean actually did his job by using his semblance earlier, like volume 1 through 2 earlier, then everyone in Ruby would actually be good at fighting for once. 
But hey, I guess falling into the endless void of depression was a better idea instead of being good. So overall, I'm gonna give this a 7, cause he's a support role and he has potential to be better later on. Bro, his sword and shield, or his Kruce Mors, for all of you sticklers out there, is the most bare bones vanilla set of weaponry by Ruby standards. Like yeah, throughout the series it improved both appearance and functionality. And by the way, I give the appearance a 10, it's on point, but its functionality may beg to differ. And what I mean by this is not just the weapon itself, but the wielder. Bro, Jean's kinda useless with this weapon, but that's putting it nicely. In fact, it poses a threat to friendlies rather than the villains. Like bro, he was able to stab Penny, but not any of the other baddies. Like that's literally his first kill, <laughs> a friendly. And fine, you may bring up the Ursa that he killed, sure, but that was only once. But how many did the rest of the team kill compared to him? Like dude, not only would he not be a good combat medic because he killed Penny, the person he was trying to heal, but he's also inadequate with his weapon. I mean dude, Desmond Doss from Hacksaw Ridge is way more useful than him. Not only is he a real person, but he saved a lot of wounded marines from the Japanese, all without a weapon. So yeah, Jean, work on your swordsmanship, will ya? And work on like... Uh, what's it called? Amplifying people's auras, will you? I mean, I'm gonna give you a 5 because of that. I'm giving you a 5 because you're useless with weapons. And yeah, sure, you could help your teammates leap higher with your shield and combine both your sword and shield for combat, but it still sucks. Even with all of Pyrrhus Metal Syndem infused with it, it still sucks. So I'm gonna give you a 5. To wrap this all up, I initially hated Jean. He was insecure, cowardly, a damsel in distress, and at times even selfish. But after the death of Pyrrha, he grew up, and honestly, he became an even better leader than Ruby herself, arguably. He's a supportive leader, he may not be as combative as his, as his fellow huntsmen, but him being there is just as important. I mean, hell, we're gonna need him if Ren starts acting like a whiny little bee again. Jean, I know I punked on you too hard in this vid, but it was all for fun. I mean, look at you now. You became the man you always wanted to be. And for us fans, we are proud of you, and we are here for you every step of the way. And for that, you deserve an awesome. Oh, 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 oh,